Akira Toriyama, the legendary manga artist who created and illustrated the beloved Dragon Ball and Dr. Slump series, has died at the age of 68, the Dragon Ball studio said Thursday. The studio said it was their deep regret that Toriyama still had several works in the middle of creation and had many more things to achieve. The statement added, however, he has left many manga titles and works of art to this world. We hope that Akira Toriyama's unique world of creation continues to be loved by everyone for a long time to come. Toriyama was born April 5, 1955, in Nagoya, Aichi, Japan. Despite creating multiple failed stories in his early 20s, Toriyama pushed on, and in 1980, his gag manga Dr. Slump was serialized in Weekly Shonen Jump until 1984. The comedic series followed the adventures of the powerful girl robot Aral Noramaki, her kooky inventor Senbei Noramaki, and residents of the curious Penguin Village, gaining Toriyama international fame for the first time. The artist's Dragon Ball manga series was later serialized in 1984, also making its debut in Weekly Shonen Jump. The series followed protagonist son Goku from his initial meeting with Bulma, who he joins on a quest to search the world for seven magical, wish-granting orbs known as the Dragon Balls, to his battles with a host of thrilling villains throughout his journey. As the story of Goku unfolded, so did Toriyama's impact on manga, forever changing the medium with his daring art and storytelling. Throughout his more than 40-year career, Toriyama would see Dragon Ball expand to adapted anime series by Toe's Animation, Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z, videos, games, and more. Today, his signature style has become instantly recognizable around the globe. Goku, Bulma, Piccolo, Krillin, and the rest of his beloved characters have inspired generations of audiences, artists, and storytellers throughout the decades. No decision have been made in regards to a commemorative gathering in Toriyama's memory, the studio said, adding that it will provide further information when it's available. Toriyama had been busy working on anime genre video games including Chrono Trigger and Dragon Quest, according to the outlet IGN. He was rumored to have been working on a Dragon Ball Z spin-off called Dragon Ball Daima, focused on the characters Goku and Vegeta. At New York Comic Con 2023 last fall, Dragon Ball Daima executive producer Akio Ioka said on a panel that Toriyama had been deeply involved beyond his usual capacity working on the details of the high-profile project. Ioka said Toriyama had planned entirely new episodes for the storyline, so please look forward to the start of the series, which is scheduled to come out this autumn. Cause of Death The prolific Japanese creator died on March 1st from an acute subdural hematoma, a type of bleeding near the brain, the official Dragon Ball website shared in a statement on Friday from Bird Studio, which Toriyama founded in the 80s and Capsule Corporation Tokyo. He has left many manga titles and works of art to this world. Thanks to the support of so many people around the world, he has been able to continue his creative activities for over 45 years, the announcement read. We hope that the world of Akira Toriyama's unique works will continue to be loved by everyone for a long time to come. The statement also stated that his funeral was held with family and relatives, and expressed regret he had several projects in the works at the time of his death and many more things to achieve. Needing money after quitting his job at the age of 23, Toriyama entered the manga industry by submitting a work to an amateur contest in Kodansha's weekly shonen magazine, which he had randomly picked up in a coffee shop. The timing did not line up for that contest, but another shonen magazine, Weekly Shonen Jump, accepted submissions for their newcomer award every month. Kazuhiko Torishima, who would become his editor, read and enjoyed Toriyama's manga, but it was not eligible to compete because it was a parody of Star Wars instead of an original work. Torishima sent the artist a telegram and encouraged him to keep drawing and sending him manga. This resulted in Wonder Island, which became Toriyama's first published work when it was published in Weekly Shonen Jump in 1978. However, it came in last place in the reader's survey. Toriyama later said that he had planned to quit manga after getting paid, but because Wonder Island 2, 1978, was also a flop, his stubbornness would not let him, and he continued to draw failed stories for a year. Claiming around 500 pages worth, including the published today's Highlight Island, 1979, he said he learned a lot during this year and even had some fun. 
When Torishima told him to draw a female lead character, Toriyama hesitantly created 1979's Tomato the Cutesy Gumshoe, which had some success. Feeling encouraged, he decided to draw another female lead and created Dr. Slump. Dr. Slump, which was serialized in Weekly Shonen Jump from 1980 to 1984, was a huge success and made Toriyama a household name. It follows the adventures of a perverted professor and his small but super strong robot role. In 1981, Dr. Slump earned Toriyama the Shagakuken Manga Award for Best Shonen or Shoujo Manga Series of the Year. An anime adaptation began airing that same year, during the primetime Wednesday 1900 hours slot on Fuji TV. Adaptations of Toriyama's work would occupy this time slot continuously for 18 years through Dr. Slump's original run, Dragon Ball and its two sequels, and finally a rebooted Dr. Slump concluding in 1999. By 2008, the Dr. Slump manga had sold over 35 million copies in Japan. Torishima suggested that, as Toriyama enjoyed kung fu films, he should create a kung fu shonen manga. This led to the two-part Dragon Boy, published in the August and October 1983 issues of Fresh Jump. It follows a boy, adept at martial arts, who escorts a princess on a journey back to her home country. Dragon Boy was well-received and evolved to become the serial Dragon Ball in 1984. But before that, The Adventure of Tongpu was published in Weekly Shonen Jump's 52nd issue of 1983 and also contained elements that would be included in Dragon Ball. Serialized in Weekly Shonen Jump from 1984 to 1995 and having sold 159.5 million Tankobon copies in Japan alone, Dragon Ball is one of the best-selling manga series of all time. It began as an adventure-slash-gag manga but later turned into a martial arts fighting series, considered by many to be the most influential shonen manga. Dragon Ball was one of the main reasons for the magazine's circulation hitting a record high of 6.53 million copies, 1995. At the series' end, Toriyama said that he asked everyone involved to let him in the manga, so he could take some new steps in life. During that near, 11, year period, he produced 519 chapters that were collected into 42 volumes. Moreover, the success of the manga led to five anime adaptations, several animated films, numerous video games, and mega merchandise. Aside from its popularity in Japan, Dragon Ball was successful internationally as well, including Asia, Europe, and the Americas, with 300 to 350 million copies of the manga sold worldwide. Toriyama was engaged by 20th Century Fox as a creative consultant on Dragon Ball Evolution, an American live-action film adaptation of Dragon Ball. He is also credited as an executive producer on the 2009 film, which failed both critically and financially. Toriyama later stated in 2013 that he had felt the script did not capture the world or the characteristics of his series and was bland and not interesting so he cautioned them and gave suggestions for changes. But the Hollywood producers did not heed his advice, and just as I thought, the result was a movie I cannot call Dragon Ball. Avix Tracks commissioned Toriyama to draw a portrait of pop singer Ayumi Hamasaki, and it was printed on the CD of her 2009 single Rule, which was used as the theme song to the film. In 2012, Dragon Ball Z Battle of Gods was announced to be in development, with Toriyama involved in its creation. The film marked the series' first theatrical film in 17 years and the first time Toriyama had been involved in one as early as the screenwriting stages. The film opened on March 30, 2013. A special dual ticket that could be used to see both Battle of Gods and One Piece film. Z was created with new art by both Toriyama and Eiichiro Oda.